Hey guys, uh, doing a, a little bit different of a video today. Um, this is, instead of playing the baby family, we're going to play, uh, we're going to just build a very, very tiny house. So I do need a test sim, so we're going to take the bachelor family here, and we're just going to move them into this lot. We're going to test that everything's going to work. Nope. And then we're going to build the smallest house we can. Because we want to build a tiny house. So what, what do you need in a tiny house? You need a bed. Um, we'll buy the best small bed we can. So the, the way The Sims works is the most expensive bed is usually the one that gives you the most energy. Like, um, yeah, all the other ones, especially this one, are going to give you the least. So the most expensive small bed is this one. We're going to get everything out that we need, and we're going to set it on the lot, and then we're going to build, we're going to rearrange and build. So we need a chair to be able to watch TV. So already we can put a chair there. We're going to need a TV. Um... So in The Sims 1, we can actually put... Oh, that is a fence. There we go. We can get the TV on a wall. I don't think they have a small TV on a wall, so it might take up two spaces. Yeah. So right now, we will compare our options. We'll get both TVs. So we'll get the uh, smallest, actually this is also, no, let's see, fun four or fun two? Let's get fun four, we're gonna, because we want to have the most efficient one we can. So, there we go. Okay. So, we've got our sleep, we've got our, technically our comfort. Oh, that reminds me actually. I can, if I'm gonna get a chair, I might as well. Let's see, that has comfort six, room three. This is just comfort two. Oh, I was wrong. The most expensive one in here is not the best one. That's comfort nine, room three. So the second most expensive so far. Is okay, so we want this chair. Not that chair. Lounge chairs usually take up more than one space. Let's see if we can get something better than Comfort 9. It's on room 3. Seven, eight. And that's just Comfort 9, but no room. Comfort item room two. So yeah, that is the best chair to get for our TV. There's also a, the other section as well, which might help. Like this. Oh, this is a double uh, space. That won't help us. Okay, so we've got sleep, comfort, fun, what else do we need? So hygiene, uh, we're going to need hygiene and bladder and hunger, and that's, and then a phone, basically, and that's the whole house. So we can actually condense our uh, TV thing down actually into just a computer. Fun nine plus study. Does that TV? It includes a room as well, and in a tiny space you're going to need room. So that's a possibility. But we could also get 
I don't remember, do they, do these work on tables in The Sims 1? And on The Sims 2 you couldn't do that, they had to be on specifically desks. And I need some money. Okay, so we can do this, but we're going to need one more space, I believe. Let's test it. No, nope, it seems to work just fine. So that works. We can actually get rid of the TV, both TVs. We'll keep that wall because we're probably going to need it. In fact, We'll build around it like that. And then we'll go test the computer again. Oh, looks like he already tested it for me, so. Perfect. So my next question is, can I put a wall behind the chair? And then just have a small opening. See if the test subject comes to play the computer again. Perfect, we can just leave him in there. <laughs> All right, next. Let's go ahead and put the bed there. We'll either put the bed there, or in fact, we might flip it all the way around. Do this. Go into plumbing. And get... So you have an option between four different showers. This one is hygiene 10, room 2. 8 and 1. 5 and 1 and six. So we're obviously gonna get a, gonna want the one that's the best, you know, shower you've ever had in a tiny house. Right there, we should be able to put a wall on both sides and one right there, and it, he should still be able to use it. Let's try it out. Perfect. But we're not going to put that wall there because we can put the toilet there. So we'll actually extend the wall by one. We'll put the toilet in there. I would imagine this is the best one because it's a golden toilet, but let's see. Bladder 8, comfort 2, and room 4. Bladder 8. I mean, all of the toilets pretty much are fast. Uh, for some reason, this one gives you negative one hygiene. The in-house, outhouse. What do we have in, in these? Um, comfort four, hygiene five. Comfort seven, fun two. Water eight. That one doesn't even say. So either they messed up there, or it just works. Hygiene negative one. Okay. We're gonna go with this one because it gives him an extra bit of room. I mean, you need room. And actually, just for you can style it a little bit more. No, we can't. All right. Golden toilet it is. So now. Hmm. Let's see here. Yes, there we go. Now, you do have to extend the room enough to be able to get in. So we have to find out how much is enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to get into it from there. 
Oh, he, he's not tired enough. Spend the whole day. Let his fun go down. There we go. Okay, he can still get in from there. So. Hmm. Can't go across, but we can go diagonally. Can you get out? Looks like it. And that looks really stupid, so we're not going to do that. Just to save an inch or two. In fact, I might have an idea here. We might be able to just block off this whole area. And then you can access his bet just fine. Give it a try. No, he can't. What if we flip it over? Get in the bed. Get in the bed. I don't know how. Okay. Oh, there's still a piece of wall in the way. I got rid of all that. Can you get in now? <coughs> Sorry for my headphones run backward. Alright, that works pretty pretty well actually. Um so next we are going to add the food, because we need food to live. So what can we do here? Well, we can put a grill on the outside of the house, but I kind of wanted to self-isolate him. Whoa. So make it where he can't, technically doesn't need to get out, there's no exit. He just lives inside of this box forever. And it just keeps going and going and going forever. So. What we need to do. Is find. Let's see. We can put a stove in here. But in order to use a stove you need a fridge. And we don't really want him to eat snacks for the rest of his life. So one thing we could do put the stove parallel like this. Then he still needs a way to cut up his food. So regardless, we're going to have to go out one more. Either that, or he also needs a trash can of some sort. So my the best option would be a trash compactor. Also, is that the best we can do for a stove? Looks like this one also gives him room. Let's go with that one. And was that the best refrigerator? Hunger 10? Sure is. So we're good on that. We're going to get him a trash compactor. Which also doubles as a counter space. So we can put the food processor in there. Uh, which is in the small appliances. There we go. Let's get him a wall. Put it right there. Put a wall here. Right there. Close it off. In fact, the move objects on cheat, we could then put the infinite trash can in here. Let's 
So that would actually be all we need, really. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's give him some floor. It's an extremely crowded house. It's very hard to see inside of now. But it is seeable. Now let's get him some bathroom tile. Okay. Wallpapers. Let's see, we'll put this on the outside. Give him a more of an industrial look in the bathroom. Come on, put the walls up. Perfect. And then, bedroom, come on. There we go. Small roof. Now with walls down, or partial walls, that's how the house looks. Flip it. Perfect. Now the only thing I could think of is the repo man coming because you can never get mail again. So let's see what happens when we run the simulation. He should be self-sufficient now. And I forgot to give him skills, so he is now stuck in a fire box of death. That sucks. Um, maybe I can get him to extinguish it before anything else happens. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. Nope, he is on fire and the house is... T <laughs> oh my god, what a great way to end the video. He's just gonna die there now. All this hard work, gone. Because I didn't give him any cooking skill. The simulation lasted about five seconds. Thanks, Grim Reaper. The fridge is the only thing to survive. <laughs> well, if you liked that, um, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> this is Baby Flowers, and I will see you guys later.